Well, there are a number of really serious uh, health problems that affected both armies. Um, a few that come to mind, scurvy, uh, typhus, dysentery, malaria, and yellow fever, depending on where the armies were serving. Um, scurvy, for example, I mean, uh, both armies, and I would think particularly the British Army, had problems procuring fresh provisions. Um, so we're not just talking about you know, malnourishment. We're talking about severe, such a severe shortage of vitamin C that their teeth started falling out and they had huge sores on their legs. I mean, these were very, very sick men. Um, and they, you know, were trying various uh, ways to, to mitigate this kind of disease. Um, and a lot of the British soldiers ended up drinking spruce beer. Um, if it's made well, it doesn't taste so bad, but it could be absolutely awful to drink. Um, and the idea was that there's some vitamin C in spruce. So therefore, you mix the stuff together, you make a beer, and it's going to help. Um, mind you, they didn't know about vitamin C at that point, so there was a little bit of a hit and miss. They would try other things as well. But uh, So you see scurvy. Um, one of the other big things in camps, particularly winter quarters, were always worse than when you're out in the camp and you're moving and on campaign, and then you had to worry about wounds. But when you're in winter quarters or in camps, hygiene is a big problem. And they didn't understand. I mean, there was no germ theory at the time. I mean, they thought a lot of illnesses were spread through the air, and it was just sort of a miasma. Um, so there wasn't this idea of you might actually get, say, a fecal-oral transmission, which, as disgusting as it sounds, um, it really affected the soldiers in, in both armies. Um, so you would see things like dysentery, which is basically bloody diarrhea. Um, so they're dehydrated and they're bleeding. It's both disgusting and it's very hard on the human body. Um, so vast numbers of soldiers on both sides were impacted by diseases like dysentery at certain points of the war. Um, another serious one was typhus, which was called jail fever or camp fever. Um, it had various names, which indicate sort of where um, where these illnesses were contracted, right? Large concentrations of men in relatively small places with rudimentary sanitary conditions. Um, they're digging holes in the ground um, and you don't know how close they are all the time to the drinking water. So what happens is that the, uh, the bacteria would be secreted, um, go into the privy and then might infect the drinking supplies. Or, you know, many of these soldiers never wash their hands. So there was all this kind of transmission. And they didn't know a lot of these even sort of what we would consider common sense practices to avoid getting sick like that. So dysentery, we're talking high. Um, dysentery, we're talking bloody diarrhea. Typhus, we're talking um, very high fevers, uh, breaking out in spots. Um, the chills, I, it's extremely dangerous. Uh, a lot of soldiers died from this. Um, some of the other diseases that these soldiers were prone to, particularly in the south, were malaria and yellow fever. Uh, and I don't know if I really have to say too much about malaria, but I mean, it was, it devastated huge portions of the British Army, for example. Um, and certainly the American forces weren't immune either. Um, but these were serious problems. And a lot of these soldiers as well, if they had only minor you know, forms of the disease, or they were just contracting it or just recovering, they would be put out in the field. And there was a huge demand for men. So as soon as they looked like they were able to get out there in the field, um, they were placed there. Um, so some of them who were fighting probably should have been in hospital or at the very least having bed rest. But they were out there shouldering heavy rifles, you know, heavy uniforms, and fighting each other in the field, you know, guns and bayonets and hard marches. Um, it was really, you know, really tough conditions for a lot of these soldiers on both sides.